You sent for me, Your Majesty. Yes, General Shafari. I have been reading your document. May I be permitted to know your reaction? You say here that Barat is a bankrupt country. That is true. We are poor. Nothing but desert and date palms. Our only wealth is in our position, situated as we are between the powers of East and West. Let us make money out of it. Your way to make money, General Shafari, is to break our treaties and play off one side against the other. It is good politics. We have a sacred pact with the West. I do not intend my country to grow rich through blackmail. Nevertheless, Your Majesty would be well advised to sign. We must act on it immediately. I am the king. Every tribesman in the country is loyal to me and to our friendship with the West. I don't think that will be much help to Your Majesty as long as I command the army. Are you going to approve that document? No. What's the meaning of this intrusion? Your death will be reported as an assassination by an angry crowd. No more questions? Right. Well, enough of theory. Now for a practical demonstration that will prove that it's purely a refraction of light that causes my invisibility. First, infrared light. And now, X-ray. Well, gentlemen, I'm glad to know that uh, here at Oxford University, you are taking up the study of invisibility yourselves. Perhaps with your help, I'll be able to see myself again without the aid of this equipment. And that's all, gentlemen. Thank you, Mr. Brady. As president of the Science Society, may I thank you for the pleasure you have given us with your invisible lecture. <laughs> <laughs> thank you, Johnny. I, myself, am particularly grateful, Mr. Brady, because Barat, my own rather poor and underdeveloped country, will be leaning heavily on science. Thank you, Mr. Brady. Goodbye. Goodbye, Mr. Brady, and thank you. Thank you, sir. Thank you, Mr. Brady. Pensioneta. Ambassador, what are you doing here? Thank you, sir. Your Highness, I have terrible news for you. Why? What's the matter? Your brother, the king. He has been killed. Assassinated by the rabble. My sister. What happened to my sister? She is safe. General Shafari has restored order. Shafari. You have much to thank him for. Without his authority, there might have been much bloodshed. I must return to my country at once. I warn you, Your Highness, it would be very dangerous. I have no choice. I am the king now. General Shafari has sent instructions. You must not interrupt your studies. Who is Shafari to give me orders? Just a moment, Johnny. Uh, perhaps your ambassador is right. Mr. Brady, when there is trouble in Barat, it is my duty to be there. Perhaps, Your Highness, it would be safer in one or two months. I shall leave at once. You will make preparations. Send to Barat for an aircraft of the Royal Flight. Have them send Hassan to conduct me home. But, Your Highness, General Shafari will not be responsible. Have them send Hassan. I trust him. Very well, Your Highness. I will make all arrangements. <laughs> And this is Colonel Faid, Your Highness. Welcome, Your Highness. He is to escort you home. But I send instructions for Hassan to come. Unfortunately, Your Highness, he is sick. Prepare to take off. You take a great deal on yourself, Colonel. 
I shall give the order to take off. Don't disturb yourself, Highness. Everything is arranged. Colonel Fayed. Highness. You will radio Barat to send this message. I'm sorry, Highness. That is not in my instructions. Instructions? From who? General Shafari, Highness. We are all under his command. You are under my command. I suggest, Highness, you wait until we get to Barat. Is this man being insubordinate? Remember, Your Highness. His instructions are simply to conduct you home. Very well, Colonel. You may go. Red? Yes. What are you doing here? Shh, not so loud. I've been in touch with the authorities. They've agreed to my coming along with you. We thought you might run into trouble. I'll deal with them when we get back to Barat. Take it easy, Johnny. This is only a taste of what's to come. You're going to find yourself in the middle of Shafari's men. Could be right. Being brave isn't going to be enough, Johnny. You'll have to be cunning as well. Here is the leaders of your tribes to greet you, Your Highness, and to tell you of our great sorrow at the death of our brave and good King Rashid. Thank you, Hassan. Peace be with you. Prosperity on your tribes. Peace be with you, Your Highness. Hassan, they told me you were sick. Sick, Highness? I sent for you to conduct me home. I did not receive your message. I'm glad that you are well. General, where is my sister? I will conduct you to her. Thank you. I will see her alone. Of course. I understand. She is in the crown room, Your Highness. Oh, Charlie! <laughs> I'm so glad you are safe. Of course I am. Tamar, there's nothing to be afraid of. They killed Rashid. They will do the same to you. And they will not find it quite so easy this time. Do you know who killed him? I came into the room after the sound of firing. But I'm sure it was Shafari, he or his officers. Did anyone see them? Nobody would talk. Oh, Johnny, I'm so frightened. Where can we go? We are surrounded by enemies here. This palace is a trap, and you have walked into it. I could not leave you on your own. Besides, I have a duty to my people. The tribesmen are loyal to me. What good is that? They are scattered all over the desert. Their leaders are here. Four men against Shafari and the army. Taima, there is something I must tell you. I am not quite as defenseless as you suppose. Excuse this interruption, Your Highness. There are pressing affairs of state. First of all, there is this to be signed at once. What is it? Authority for foreign policy, Your Highness. But that is the report that was on Rashid's desk. He had it as he died. Is this true? I believe it was found under the body. I see Rashid had not signed it. I imagine he was about to do so when the unfortunate occurrence took place. Very well. I shall read it as soon as possible. Your Highness, all it requires is your signature. I shall read it, Shafari. I see. I hope you find it more instructive than Rashid did. What did he mean by that? We shall soon know. This is an edict made by Shafari. It 
It's an attempt to play off the West against the East. No wonder Rashid had not signed it. But Johnny, that must be why they killed him. Sign it, please, otherwise you haven't got a chance. I would like someone else to read it first, Ayima. Someone whose opinion I trust. But... Have you ever heard of Peter Brady, the Invisible Man? I didn't believe in such a story. How do you do, Princess? Uh, don't let anyone else know I'm here, or I won't be so useful to your brother. It isn't possible. Now, to you, this is not how we welcome our guests. Welcome, Mr. Brady. I'm your servant. Finish, Peter. Yeah. Shafar is playing with fire. He's trying to blackmail our allies. Yeah. Some people might think it's good politics, but it's up to you, Johnny. Tear it up. Just as you say. God! Put it in the box. Give this to General Shafari. Here comes the document back from His Highness. I told you he would sign. General, call my full council. Already, Your Highness? The sooner I am proclaimed king, the better. The boy is already opposing me. It's a simple matter to deal with him, as we did with Rashid. No, no, no. The tribal leaders are already suspicious. Two deaths the same way would be more than they would stomach. We must find some other way of dealing with little Johnny. What about the princess? You read my thoughts. She is the only member of the family left. If she were to disappear or... If she were in some danger, I think you could get him to agree to anything. Very well. I leave to you, Fagin. We are here, gentlemen, to proclaim our king. If he is ready to rule us, and we find him worthy. Jonetta is a worthy king. I will go and bring him. You look like a king, Johnny. But I'm frightened for you. No, you needn't be. The tribesmen are my friends. You could get a knife in your back. I'll be standing right behind him, Princess. Thank you, Mr. Brady. Your Highness, your counsel is waiting. I am ready. Your Highness, I must first warn you. The kingdom will be offered to you in traditional fashion. Of course. You will refuse it. I will what? It will be wisest, unless, of course, you have changed your mind about my edict. I have not changed my mind. And I will not refuse the kingdom. He's foolish. Now it is too late. Mr. Brady, please. Please protect Johnny. I'll do what I can. We welcome your highness, as our people have always welcomed their prince, to offer their loyalty and the crown. Excuse me, princess. What do you want? I have an urgent message for you from your brother. You are to come with me at once. But he has just left. He's gone to the council. Hurry, princess. This is an order. I refuse. <laughs> your people are waiting. We will go out and take up our positions. Follow us directly, Heinz. I 
have given you every chance, but you've turned your back on me. I would have been prepared to see you crowned if you had listened to me. I understand you, Shafari. You would have liked a puppet for a king. I will not bargain with you. And I am not prepared to take the risk. You are not going out there. You will refuse the crown. Stand aside. One moment, Highness. We have your sister. What? She is our prisoner. If you wish to see her alive, you will do as I say. Where are you? It's Brady. Refuse the crown. Come on, quickly. Thanks. Highness, you must delay no longer. You must accept the crown. You must come out and speak now. Accept. We've done it. There is no other way. We must get rid of Jonetta immediately. He cannot die so soon after his brother. The whole world will be suspicious. What else can we do? He has won the tribes over. They like him. I even suspect the loyalty of some of my own men. I must strike now before it is too late. I cannot understand how the princess escaped. Don't worry. It won't matter after tonight. Send me the man who will serve his meal tonight. You are going to poison him? No. Poison would only throw suspicion on us. We are going to make him sleep soundly. Three people. You must drink now, Mr. Brady. No thanks, Princess. Not so late at night. But uh, there is no time we will not drink coffee. Now don't forget, Johnny. You've won only half a battle. Shafari's not finished. I will see to him tomorrow. He will be dismissed. Johnny's going to be a wise king. Don't you think, Mr. Brady? Yes, I agree. Wise or not, I'm tired. I'm really tired. I'll go to bed. Good night. Good night. Good night, Peter. Good night. There he goes. Nothing should wake him for the next two hours. Remember. It must look as if it had been a tribe's. We shall never be able to thank you, Mr. Brady. To be quite honest, Princess, I'm doing this for the mutual interests of both our countries. We need your friendship on the West as much as you need ours. 
If an unscrupulous man like Shafari got absolute power, there's... Princess, what's the matter? I don't know. I felt suddenly tired. Princess! Uh-huh. The coffee. What did it taste like? Where's his room? Please. Where does Johnny sleep? Upstairs. Which door? The end of the corridor. I'll be back. in spite of these assassins. Ambassador! Faid! Take him away! Here! Yeah, here. Stop! They were acting under orders. Someone sent you to kill me. Who was it? Well? So they tried to kill our king. Don't spare them. Wait a moment. Who sent you? Shafari. He sent me to kill you. That's a lie. Ask Faid. This is a conspiracy. Jonetta is trying to discredit me. Arrest him, guards. Arrest him. Shoot him down. Arrest him. Arrest Shafari. He is the traitor. Get back. I've got him. There will be no more lawless killing in Barat. They will all stand fair trial. Take them away. Come on. Ready. Yes. 